The University of Nebraska is facing a $4.65 million deficit going into the 2015 fiscal year starting July 1st. To balance the deficit, about 69% of budget cuts will be coming from faculty and staff salaries, receiving on average a 2% raise instead of the typical three. Chemistry professor Gerard Harberson is the faculty senate representative on the academic planning committee. He says faculty and staff are disappointed to hear this news. Obviously nobody's very happy about it. Um, we haven't gotten very large raises for a long time. They're taking one third or one, per, or one percent and they're going to allocate it to the shortfall. About 10 percent of the budget cuts will come from student affairs, which includes the unions, health center, student housing, campus rec, and the vice chancellor's office. Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs Juan Franco says in the past, student affairs hasn't been as affected by budget cuts, but this year is different. But this year, you know, it was such that we all had to chip in and help. And so uh, it was our turn to uh, provide a bigger piece of the, of the budget cut. According to Franco, even though programs are facing cuts, students shouldn't be affected too much. Uh, the services will be the same. We're just figuring out how to make sure that we do more with less. But junior Alexander Ryan Bailey says the pending budget cuts may impact some students. It can hurt certain people if they like to do a, a topic or a recreational activity, but if they're able to combine them in some way, I think it'd be fine. But if it takes it away completely, I think that can hurt the student organization in a way. Rick Barrera, Assistant Dean for Business and Fiscal Affairs in the College of Business Administration, says a lot goes into balancing a budget as large as the university's. The chancellor meets with different aides before coming to an agreement on a budget. Once they feel like a decision has been made, then they have to go back out and inform all those people, okay, here's what we're going to do. And often that leads to further discussion and maybe more change in in, in the process or in the plan. Barrera says the purpose of budgeting is to keep track of where money is being spent and what it's being spent on. The purpose is to, to be fiscally responsible and to plan appropriately for, for the use and growth of the programs. Here's an example of a budget on a smaller scale, something a student might use. They list their income at the top and their various expenses down below. But sometimes, like the university, a student can end up in a deficit as well. Then they have to decide what gets cut so the budget becomes balanced. Junior Michael Whitney has his own ideas on how the university can save money. He thinks the recent renovations in the student union and library aren't using space efficiently. So there's the union here with all the tables having somehow disappeared and furniture being replaced with newer, more modern models. Overall, Franco says budget cuts are a necessary evil of an institution. And uh, it's something that needs to be done. And so we're just going to bite the bullet and get it done. For NewsNet Nebraska, I'm Rebecca Sutter.